All right, ladies and gents, welcome to today's video. My name is Taylor Venture. We're gonna be talking about how to set and achieve your goals. When you understand lead measures and lag measures, it makes everything a lot easier. Uh, when I used to set goals for my agency for the first year, I think I thought I was gonna be able to get to a million a month uh, within like six months. And I had no idea what the difference was between a lag measure and a lead measure. Super important, and it'll give you really great insight. It's very fundamental, but let's dive straight into the whiteboard. So on the lead measure side, okay, let's start on this side. You can look at this little diagram here. The lead measure is what you can control. It's influenceable. It causes uh, things. It's, you can, it's an activity. It's an action. That's what a lead measure is. Now, I want to give you an example while I'm going through this. Uh, uh, if you want to be able to sign five clients, a lead measure would be send 10 to 20 cold emails, post three times per week, connect with 50 ideal client profiles on LinkedIn or on Facebook, do a webinar, build relationships with your dream 100. These are things that you can actually do and that you can control. Those are lead measures, okay? They're influenceable. They're things that you can actually do. Now, most people, when they set goals, they set lag measures and they have basically no lead measures. So lag measures is what is commonly known as a goal. I want to get to 100K a month. I want to get to 50K a month. I want to build a seven-figure business. I want to be able to sign 10 clients. I want to uh, get 20 new leads come into our agency this month, uh, etc. I want to be able to hire a, an A player next week, this month, this year. These are all lag measures, okay? They're not influenceable. You cannot actually make them happen, or you basically can't do them. They're not actions, they're outcomes, they're goals, they're effects from causality, basically, and uh, they're uninfluenceable. So the beauty of, of this is that when you have the proper lag measure, basically the KPI, not really KPI, sorry, um, let's just call it lag measure, KPI is a little bit different, but lag measure, when you have the proper lag measure, it really makes you think about, okay, well, what is the proper lead measures, the things that, the actions that I can do that will produce that outcome? I wish someone would have just sat down and told me, hey, here's how you should have, you should set goals. Don't just shoot for 100K a month and then just work relentlessly. That's ridiculous. That's what I used to do. I did that for many years. Okay, I'll be very <laughs> honest and transparent about that, and it was terrible. The, what you want to do now is more so focused on, okay, set this goal, make it realistic, make it somewhat of a stretch so you're not going to, you may not achieve it, but you think it's possible. Five clients, I want to sign five clients this month or next month or this quarter, whatever the time frame is, that's fantastic. Now, what is the lead measures that's going to get you there? This is where you need to sit down and think about, okay, what do I think is the best things that I could do that, that would be predictive of getting the outcome that I want, which is five clients? Or, uh, and then you can reverse engineer it even further. To get five clients, how many uh, d discovery calls do I need to do? How many sales calls do I need? Maybe you need 20 sales calls. So it, it doesn't even go, maybe five clients is not the best lag measure and you start thinking, okay, let me just get 20 sales calls. That's, that's gonna be my lag measure is I wanna get 20 sales calls, fantastic. What are gonna be the predictive uh, you know, uh, uh, lead measures that will lead me to that result, right? So this, this is a, a, an example that I drew up here specifically for revenue growth in, that, in, in, in marketing because it seems for a little, to be where a lot of people wanna uh, talk about and, and go over. But the most important thing you can do, okay, is get very good at setting reasonable lags and identifying the best leads that will lead you to that lag. Okay, it's basically that's how I see this whole thing. Now, we use OKRs in our agency objectives and key results. I made a previous video about OKRs. It's a fantastic video. I recommend you check it out. That's the goal setting system or framework that we use. But understanding lead and lags is very similar to OKRs, which is objectives and key results. Uh, very, very, very similar. Now, here's the last thing I wanna, I wanna mention, because this is a pretty quick video and it's pretty important. You want to be able to get really good at identifying the top asymmetric uh, actions. This is what I've talked about before, or lead measures. These are what, you know, asymmetric actions are essentially lead measures that will most likely create your desired lag outcome. Okay, now an asymmetric action, I've defined this before, I'll talk about it one more time. This is essentially an action that has such minimal uh, risk and such minimal input or energy required and has such exponential 
uh, output for your organization or for your outcome or for what, whatever it is that you want to achieve that it's it's asymmetric in the sense that it just requires so little but gives you so much and those are the actions that you want to look for those are the leads the the lead measures that you want to be able to track so if for you and you notice that in your agency content plays a, a large part part, part of uh, your your lead generation and and signing clients well then fantastic then you should try to quadruple down on that lead because that's your asymmetric action right there. If posting three times a week and, and building great relationships with your Dream 100, as I said in this example, these are some examples of things that have worked for us in our agency. I can only really speak to what we've done or what we've been able to achieve. But these are examples of things that have helped us grow to where we are now between $90,000 to $100,000 per month. So with that being said, hopefully this was insightful. All right, I know this is a quick brain dump where I was kind of talking really fast, but there is only one thing I'm going to ask for you and I have always asked for this before. Just hit the subscribe button, hit the no notification bell. It gives me motivation to be able to continue making these videos. I enjoy making these videos, but I, I do it for you guys. It's not uh, for myself, more or less. It's primarily to try to help you. There is some benefits for me, which maybe we'll talk about in a future video coming out, but uh, much love. I hope you enjoyed this. Hit the sub button, hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hopefully this was very helpful. And uh, if you want to go deeper on a, a goal setting framework or system that is more high level, I recommend you check out the OKR video that I talked about, uh, which is how to set goals, I think, with objectives and key results. Uh, John Dewar is the guy who originally kind of popularized this and uh, he is now in uh, everywhere talking about OKRs. They're amazing. Anyways, much love, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully this was insightful. Ciao.